Fox 6 tonight at 6, taking matters into his own hands. The victim of a hit and run crash became so frustrated the driver was never caught, he decided to launch his own investigation. Fox 6 is Brett Lemoyne with the clues that helped, helped him crack the case. His Honda Accord totaled after this horrific wreck back in March. In a video, there's a lady whose car actually jumps over the top of my car. It happened near the zoo interchange on I-94 in the middle of the afternoon. The truck came into my lane and he hit my vehicle, spun me around to his front. I ended up on his driver's side. The driver of the car carrier didn't stop. The DOT footage shared with us by the investigator who cracked the case the victim. If you get a raw deal, we can either take it or you can take the next step. The wreck also damaged two other vehicles. Michael Cook says deputies who responded to the scene couldn't get a license plate or any identification of the striking driver. He says, yeah, we're not going to investigate any further. So Cook took matters into his own hands. He obtained the DOT video from State Patrol and took a screenshot of the car carrier to some friends who sell cars. Someone recognized it from an auto auction in Caledonia. I drove out there every day after work looking for this truck. Finally, I found one that matched perfectly. That led Cook to the company the driver works for. I drove all the way down to Hammond, Indiana started handing out flyers of this guy's truck on the street corner. Ultimately, Cook ID'd the driver and told Milwaukee County Sheriff's deputies a supervisor amended the report, issuing a citation for deviating from the designated lane. A spokeswoman for the sheriff says the DA passed on hit and run charges, leaving Cook once again spinning his wheels. People will maybe stand up for themselves a little bit more and push the issue instead of just getting brushed off. That was our Brett Lemoyne.